Okay, now I want to discuss some basics of defense methods. So you always won't be the attacking player in chess, and you're going to have to defend. So here's some um, some general guidelines for uh, for for defense. Um, and I've come up with the acronym RAM for defense. So uh, one aspect of defense is um, only def and the R stands for required. Only defend as required, meaning you don't need to defend against phantom threats. And I'd say a lot of uh, um, players sometimes defend against um, moves that aren't really, or their opponent isn't really going to make or don't really matter in the end. And they could have spent their time doing um, something else. So I say only defend as required. Number two defend actively and uh, this is why I have this position on the board why just move to uh, f4 and now it's attacking um, this this um, uh, f pawn twice threatening to win it and now black uh, you could say well it's defense required and I would say yes I don't think white can ignore this threat by doing something else or going about, you know, some other business. But now we have to defend actively. So there are a couple of different possibilities for, for um, you know, moves in this case. And I think the worst one, which someone could probably make, is moving the uh, rook to here, because the rook was originally on a very active line aimed right straight at the king in a, an attacking position and now would move it to a very passive position so I talked about peace activity so this would not be a good example of uh, peace activity um, you could say uh, a move could be to move the rook to here so um, where it would actually, you know, then defend. So, well, maybe I should draw that again. Where it would defend the um, the piece. And I did. Uh, maybe I should say you only need to use a, a minimum force, meaning you don't need to defend something five times if it's only attacked twice. So, um, so we only need to defend it uh, it's a, you know the pawn here is attacked twice and only defended once so we need to only add one more defender so um, actually another move would be here and this may be okay this may be a move that some people may move may make but the best move in this position is actually to move the queen to here why this is an example of active defense because not only does it defend but it also threatens mate so that's an example of active defense it brought the queen from sort of a less active position to a uh, more active position where it was defending you know um, you know the second best move would probably be the rook move here and then the worst move would be the rook move over to here. Okay, so I've covered all three of these. Only defend as required, defend actively, and only defend using miminal force. Okay, now the... So, the next thing I want to dis discuss, if I slide down, is defense methods. What do you do when a piece, and this regards more of a when a piece is attacked. And here are the basic only uh, defense methods available when uh, when a piece is attacked. So in, in this case, in our example here, we saw when this um, pawn was attacked, we had to um, defend it. But l let's go through the, the various options that maybe are available. So you can guard the piece, which is which, what we did. We added another defender to the piece. That's one option for defense. Um, another thing would be to move away. 
Maybe I should have looked at that option. Maybe we could have moved um, um, the, you know, maybe we could have moved the pawn up, but that would have been uh, that, that would have been an option. But that does leave the um, this diagonal here. Uh, you know, it decreases our king safety, and it allows the the um, um, you know white to attack along that diagonal. So I wouldn't maybe consider that the best option. So we could actually moved away the piece. I, I really didn't look at that because I was looking at active defense. And that would have been uh, something. I don't know if that's really an act of defense of moving the pawn up, but we did maybe have that option of moving away, and for a pawn that only involves moving forward, but if you have another piece that's attacked, it could just move away. Number three, you could uh, capture the attacker. So if it's an attack, uh, just, you know, snap it off the board. But you're going to have to look at the consequences of capturing that attacker, you know, the opposing side is going to lose a piece, and you're going to lose that um, rook, knight, bishop, whatever, when you capture it. Um, you can block. Blocking is interposing a piece in between the two. So um, let's see if I can find an example of that. Okay, I've set up uh, the board again and just added a piece for uh, for black. And actually now... Uh, materials even for, for both sides. Uh, but in this case, black could actually have the option of, since this piece is attacked twice, to actually maybe just uh, move the bishop back. And that would be actually blocking, you know, now the queen can actually, you know, not really attacking this anymore, so we've actually blocked, one of the, blocked the attacking piece. And the next one is counterattack. So this could be um, a pinning. I consider pinning a, a form of counterattacking. Um, or um, you can attack something of greater value, check something else. So basically what you're going to do is counterattack um, the, the opponent. And when, I, when, and when you counterattack, I always say you want to make sure that you do your tactical calculations correct, because if you don't, because sometimes your opponent can counterattack your counterattack, and then you're in deep trouble. So when you counterattack, you want to make sure that uh, what you do is right. I think there's supposed to be a space there. So the defense methods are guard, move away, capture, block, counterattack. Okay, so hopefully there's a brief summary on defense methods.